right now we have the entrenched energy monopolies and cartels. You know, we have OPEC and we have the seven sister oil companies that control all the oil and energy. But what people have to understand is that the people who run the energy business in this world, which is the biggest business on the planet, turning over four to five trillion dollars a year, it's bigger than guns and drugs, it's bigger than defense, they control the newspapers, they control the governments. But these companies are so big that they regulate the government which regulates them. In 1977, Bruce De Palma unveiled the first prototype of the N machine, an electrical generator which uses rotating magnets to generate up to five times more power than it takes to drive it. I know about the fact that the Japanese government and the Indian government have ongoing projects to produce N machines for domestic power. Uh, my partner is Paramahamsa Tiwari, who is the director of the Nuclear Power Corporation of India, which operates all the nuclear plants in India. In late 70s, I learned from Bruce de Palma that he had carried out certain crucial experiments by rotating electromagnets. Tiwari tested a prototype based on de Palma's end machine under laboratory conditions. The results were deemed too impressive, causing disbelief and suspicion among conservative government officials and the power consortiums that backed the project. Tuari was forced to abandon the project completely. You know, if you invent a better mousetrap, you know, the world may beat a path to your door. If you in invent a free energy machine, there'll be a path beat to your door, but you don't want those people there. One of the pivotal people that uh, I encountered early in my uh, career was Edgar Mitchell, the astronaut. Lift off. Lift off. Edgar J. Mitchell, an Apollo mission astronaut, founded the Neuretics Institute in Southern California. The Institute's charter was supposedly to develop alternative energy systems by attracting inventors from all over the country. Mitchell became extremely interested in De Palma's end machine. He made De Palma a paltry offer to buy out the invention which De Palma naturally refused. He said to me that uh, if I ever tried anything on my own in California, I would get my head blown off. So I was scared to death. The CIA operates through various very innocent looking uh, fronts to find out what people are thinking and, and what they're inventing. Now, what's more innocent than a denying institute founded on transcendental prim uh, principles to help new age inventors bring free energy into the world? He said to me that uh, if I ever tried anything on my own in California, I would get my head blown off. So I was scared to death. <laughs>